Okay guys, let's start. Today's lab is actually very straightforward. It's very, very straightforward and get everything you need extremely fast but I won't I want you to double check all the results before you go okay so let's do that when things are easy you tend to make mistakes right so okay first off I think Dr. Sai did um, the series and parallel circuits but for resistors right now all we are doing is instead of resistors think about attaching power supplies now I told you last time when we have solar cells, they generate very little voltage, very little current. So when you have a solar panel on the roof, guess what? It's not going to be one single cell. It's a collection of cells. So we need to attach them in a circuit system that can be either serious or parallel depending on what you want to do. So this is what we are going to do today. We are going to attach two power supplies in serial circuit and in parallel circuit. So we have two power supplies here attached in serial circuit. So the current flow is pretty much this way. Right? I told you. I told you. Now, the um, telltale sign to see whether a circuit is serious is to see whether the same current flows through each of the components. Now look at this. Total current IT, I kind of show you the total current right here, goes through the first battery first power source goes to the second one comes out okay same current goes through both of these power sources and that would be a serious circuit okay. same principle applies if you have resistors instead of power supplies so I mean it can be either components like a resistor or power supplies Either case, same current has to flow. Now, if the same current is not flowing through the through, through each other component, and that would be a parallel circuit. So all you have to remember is one. If the same current flows through all the components, that will be a serious circuit. If not, it's a parallel circuit. Now, if you look at it, the currents are different. I1 and I2, not the same current. I1, this and I2 is this current. Two different currents. And that comes out, combines together, and you have a total current. I can name it as IT. But that current always will get divided before it goes through each of the power sources. Come over here, gets divided splits and then goes through each of the power sources in terms of I1 and I2. Not the total current. Remember one and then remember the other one as a opposite or not the same one. Okay? So, if we have a serial circuit, another way to remember about the total voltage and total current would be this. If you have a serious power supply or power sources in serious um, uh, circuit, your total voltage is going to be the sum of the two power supplies. Remember the resistors? If you have them in series, the total resistance is the sum of the individual resistors. Okay? So, in the case of parallel, it flips, then the currents are added together as the total current. What about the, the current in the case of serious power supply? So voltage is going to be a, the sum total. What is the current? 
If the two power supplies have exactly the same current, which is not going to happen, they come very close, but you cannot make two power supplies ideal. They can be, you know, seemingly ideal, that's fine, but they never can be exactly ideal. Most of the time they come very close because it's an engineering process. When the engineers build these things, they, they get very close to that. But, point that I want to say is this. If both are the same, the total power, total current is going to be each of the current, not the sum, each of them. Now if they are different, it will be somewhere between I1 and I2. Somewhere between. Not the sum, not the division, not any of that. Somewhere between I1 and I2. Because if they are not the same, one is going to be bigger than the other. Right? That is understood. So, it will be somewhere between them. Same goes to the parallel power sources. In that case, the voltage is going to be somewhere between V1 and V2. We are going to look at all of these cases today. Finally, we are going to read the, the current and the voltage. And I have simpli simplified your circuit. So, when you put the wires together today, don't follow the lab manual, it's a little bit different. So what, you, what we're going to do is this. We are going to directly attach the ammeter. This is our power supply. If you have a single power supply, we are going to attach the ammeter directly. Now, the ammeter has zero resistance. Has no resistance. When you do this, you establish, establish the highest possible current. In other words, short circuit current, ISC, from last week, okay? Next, we attach the voltmeter. Voltmeters have very high resistance. What is this symbol? Infinity. Infinity. So, I am saying that it tends towards infinity. It's not equal to, you can never have an equal symbol to infinity because infinity is not a particular number. It is trending. That's all we can say. So, it is a very high resistance. If the resistance is extremely high, what happens to the current? Goes down, comes to zero. Perfect. So, so, in other words, at this point, our current is zero and therefore we calculate the open circuit voltage. No switches, no nothing. Attach the ammeter, read the current, read the current, that will be short circuit current. Attach the voltmeter directly to the power supply, read the voltage, that is open circuit voltage. Okay? Now, we have to fill the table, we have to be careful, I am going to go over that um, when we start. This is pretty much what we are going to do. We are going to find the, the total voltage, even the individual voltages and currents for the serial circuit. Sorry. And also we are going to find the, the total current that gets established. In this case, whenever I want to read the current, you have a serious power supply. Think of these two together, just like here. And then you're going to attach your ammeter here. Next, you attach the voltmeter. Go back. Parallel power sources. Again, think of this as a single power source. You attach your voltmeter here to get the open circuit voltage. You attach your ammeter here to get the short circuit cut. Done. You're going to do them individually. And then you're going to do together in two different sets of circuits. Serious, power. You're also going to vary the distance. You have your light set in the middle. This is your light bulb. And first solar cell is going to be like this. At a distance of 25 centimeters. And that you are going to keep as it is during the experiment. Two, we will do it in two different places. First case 
it will be at 25 centimeters away. So, so and then the next case would be. 50 centimeters per Two cases. You will not move your first step. Remember that. Okay? So that's pretty much it. I'm going to come and uh, do this on the table and then you will get me. So we will start.